sacrifice, he worked hard. He never asked for anything from the government but an opportunity to now tell those individuals that uh, everything you sacrificed for to become from a United States citizen, uh, you can get it if you just crossed over the southern border. You don't need to wait anything. You just need to wait 30 days and you would have the right to vote. Uh, that is wrong. And uh, look, I, I think that this is, this is clearly unconstitutional. That is why we challenged it. That is why we won in court. I expect that we w will win in the appellate division as well. Uh, but the bottom line is why waste taxpayer resources to continue to work against the citizens that are, are part of your city. The, the mayor should not be, you know, just because he has an army of attorneys at City Hall doesn't mean he should be using our tax dollars to continue to fight for a ridiculous policy that is clearly unconstitutional. Only United citizens can vote in our elections. You cannot vote if you just come over the border and reside in New York City for 30 days. I'm sorry. And if you're not here legally, you're not. If you're not, or if you're not, uh, you may be here legally, but you're not a U.S. citizen. You still cannot vote in our elections. You need to go through the process fully, become a United States citizen, take your oath of office, and then you have the privileges of being that U.S. citizen, which number one on the list is the right to vote in our elections. And I remember one of the arguments back then as to why they even passed this in the first place was because some of those migrants are living in the communities that those legislators might represent, so if they're essentially boots on the ground, they know what's going on, hence why they wanted to give them that ability, if I remember correctly back then. When you hear that argument, what do you immediately think? So just look, I don't care about the politics, I care about what the Constitution says. It says you cannot vote if you're not a U.S. citizen, and that's the end of the story. Uh, and I think that uh, this opens a very slippery slope. It's t it is unfortunate that uh, the New York City Council, with the support of Justin Brannon, who represents this area, voted and, and put this into law knowing that they were violating the Constitution. May I add something? Congressman, may I add something? Sure. Yeah. We are not to I would like to make it very clear. We are not talking about parent-teacher association electing president of PTA. We are talking about electing mayor of New York City, capital of the world. We are talking about electing New York City Council. We are talking about electing all uh, municipal government uh, entities. So again, we are not talking about electing PTA president or uh, local block association where someone lives uh, to elect president of block association. We are talking about very serious stuff. And to allow people who came 30 years, 30 days, 30 days uh, ago to America and received work authorization uh, to vote in these elections is absolutely insane. It's a slap on the face to all American citizens. It's a slap on the face on all legal immigrants who came to America, went through all uh, required legal channels, uh, learned civics, learned American government uh, history of America, loved this country, uh, went through all the process, you know, and then received, as I said, American citizenship. I, I will show my American passport again. I cherish this. I cherish the ability and opportunities that this beautiful country gave me, my family, and millions of other immigrants who came to America. And if someone going through the process of legalization, that's fine, but it's not fine while you're waiting to become American citizen uh, in 30 days to make decisions that will be life-changing for the entire United States of America. Because we had mayors before who ran for president. In fact, Rudy Giuliani ran for president, Bill de Blasio ran for president, Michael Bloomberg ran for president, and current mayor constantly talking about possibility of running for president. Let American citizens who live in New York City make a decision who is mayor, who is city council person, etc. I believe that's a responsibility and also it's an honor. So someone who came to America and who live here should deserve this honor. It's a five years requirement. I was a refugee, it was four years and nine months. I was waiting every day for this four years and nine months requirement. Good moral character, another requirement. As you know, right now we have an open border, no questions asked policy. Meaning, anybody can come, even if you're a criminal, you can come, nobody will check anything. In 30 days, you can vote for mayor. How does it fare to everybody else who live in New York City? That's why I strongly believe this legislation is wrong, and appeal should be withdrawn, and we have to follow New York State and the United States Constitution. Thank you so much. And, and just for the record, I want to point out the part that defines what I'm saying here. It says, 
a municipal voter. It says a term municipal voter means a person who is not a United States citizen on the date of the election on which he or she is voting who is either a lawful permanent resident or, or very important that word, authorized to work in the United States who is a resident of New York City and will have been such a resident for 30 consecutive days or longer. Furthermore, it tells you to ignore not just the Constitution, but election law. It says the person meets all requirements for registering or pre-registering to vote under the election law except for <laughs> possessing United States citizenship. <laughs> so they actually want you to ignore the very important part of our, our election law and the Constitution, which is that you are a United States citizen. So. And, and I know you, real quickly, I know you, you, know, I know you mentioned you, you filed a motion in the appellate court to, to essentially strike down that appeal. What, what other steps uh, are you looking to to take, maybe be at the state or even like the federal level, perhaps. Look, I, th I think they've already enacted the law. Um, right now, uh, it is the legal battle that we have right now. That's what's critically important. The mayor drops the appeal, stops wasting taxpayer resources to fight us in court on something that is so obviously unconstitutional. Then it's over because the the lower court already struck down the law. Um, so make no mistake about it. Had we not brought that lawsuit, they'd be voting in this election this 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 year. They'd be voting in these municipal elections right now. So so, you know, this is this is why we are here to bring a balance to government, to bring some common sense, to give an alternative viewpoint. We are one party rule, unfortunately, uh, in the in the city of New York, but there is uh, an opposition party, and we are here, and we are fighting, and we do everything we can to to preserve. Uh, our election integrity and to make sure that only U.S. citizens can vote in our elections. Okay. And, I, and I call on, on uh, Councilman Justin Brennan uh, to admit that he doesn't respect people of his community, people of his district, uh, United States Constitution, New York State Constitution. He's just calling on everybody to ignore all of this and just let everybody to vote because he's afraid for his political life. I believe it's purely political document to make sure that there are more votes for, for uh, elected officials who don't do their job and want it like 30 days, everybody can vote, they don't know much in 30 days. In 30 days, me being in New York City, I started to learn English and to learn where is this corner, what is the name of the street where I live. So 30 days is a like insane requirement for anybody to vote for anybody. So that's very disrespectful to actual voters in our city. Okay, thank you. Thank you. We have to, uh Dude, I gotta go back. Um, hey, thank you all for coming. Who brought it up? Who is the main sponsor? Main sponsor is Danis Rodriguez. Okay. Yeah. And he talked about his mother who was in America for 30 years. But why is it 30 days instead of 30 years? Could you tell me? Crazy. And then it's purely and clearly 30 days. To the point of absurdity, this is the entire law. And there's a, And you have been such a resident for, for 30, 30 days. consecutive days. 30 days, days okay. How about 30 minutes? You come to America, 30 minutes, vote, vote, vote 30 minutes. You have everything, right?